everybody, this is Matt here again with Shaving the Day. Um, I'm excited to bring another review to you from some of my recent uh, Christmas acquisitions. And today I'll be using Candy Cane from McDuff's Soap Company. Got the matching splash here. Um, I hope you enjoyed the thumbnail photo um, of the Shave of the Day. I thought, I was, I thought it would be fun to kind of stick everything in the Christmas tree and see how it turned out. And I think the picture turned out pretty nice. I forgot to put the razor in there. I'm using the uh, Razor Rock German 37 slant razor again. So yeah, I've just really been enjoying it and I'm sticking with it and just getting to know it a little more. Um, but yeah, I have used this McDuff's candy cane, uh, sorry, candy cane <clears throat> a few times uh, probably four or five times already, and it is just incredible. Um, I have it whipped up here in my Sterling collapsible bowl with this Wolf Whiskers brush that uh, Elemental Hero Joe sent to me. Really awesome brush handle on this. Um, yeah, just lots of different colors. Um, but as I was lathering it, I realized I did not shake the brush out enough at all and I started with way too much water and I was like, oh crap, I ruined it. Um, didn't think the lather was going to turn out, but man, was I wrong. Um, this lather is, or this soap base is super resilient. <clears throat> started with what I thought was way too much water too quickly and it actually whipped up into just a really nice shiny yogurt consistency and I continued to add water to it and it was just fine. Um, I'll show you what the soap looks like if you aren't familiar with McDuff's. Um, really, really cool pour to it. Uh, you can see I've scooped it with my finger a few times. Uh, it's surprisingly a really, really soft soap um, compared to some of the others. So if you're scooping it with your finger or whatever, it takes almost no pressure at all to just scoop out a good, you know, almond sized amount or whatever. And a little really goes a long way. I've got plenty whipped up in here for three passes so looking forward to getting started and uh, showing it to you guys but real quick I'll go over the scent notes if you're not familiar with the scent uh, as you can see I really like that they put the scent notes on the actual label um, it's really helpful in case you forget i see if I can get that to focus um, let's see I don't know if you can read that or not but Scent notes for candy cane are peppermint, eucalyptus, musk, tonka bean, vanilla, and cocoa. Let's give it a smell here. You would think for peppermint, you know, obviously, or for candy cane, obviously peppermint. Um, I am picking up the eucalyptus in it too, which is a really nice addition. You know, it's not mint, but it is kind of like a similar scent, um, similar quality to it. Nice and refreshing. Um, but what I love is the addition of the <clears throat> vanilla, the cocoa, and the musk. Um, just really makes it a masculine fragrance. Um, super refreshing from the peppermint, but the cocoa is like just enough to just have kind of that like sensual chocolatey quality to it. And then um, I don't know if I'm picking up the tonka bean or the vanilla some of the times, but there, there's definitely a sweetness to it too that I really enjoy. And then the musk just kind of brings it all together. Really, really wonderful scent that goes so much beyond just a candy cane. Um, I could see myself wearing this all winter long, um, even in the warmer months when it, you know, I want something refreshing too. It's a really, really great scent. Um, but without any further ado, I'll get started here. Again, Razor Rock German 37. I have a Gillette um, 7 o'clock black blade in it which I think as of right now is probably my favorite blade so I've been really enjoying using it lately. I'm gonna go ahead and wet my face and then we'll lather. All right gotta lift the hat up here a little bit. All right yeah as I said I I thought I screwed up the lather initially but it turned out to be just fine. Um, great consistency and um, like I said resiliency in the soap. Um, it can really take a lot of water because I thought for sure I added way too much initially, but it actually turned out quite well. Um, I'm in the, the other bathroom in the house right now, so that's why the background and the camera angle are a little different. Sorry for the last video. 
uh, with the angle I realized I didn't quite show my whole face and neck through a good portion of it. I had the camera angle wrong so sorry about that if that bothered you at all. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to a shave. And I've really just been enjoying all of the Christmas acquisitions in my shave den and just testing them out. Um, and this, yeah, McDuff's, this is the only set I have from them, but I definitely want to get more based on my experience with this. Um, amazing soap base, super slick. Even when I scooped it with my finger, I could feel this, like if I rubbed my fingers together, I could feel how slick it was. Um, and excellent scent. I had hoped to pick up Bad Santa as well, but it was sold out on the razor company by the time I looked, or by the time I was ready to add it to my list. But Candy Cane has really impressed me. Very, very awesome scent. Love to have another Christmas scent in the collection. That's probably good. All right, <clears throat> got about two days growth here, so not too much, but man, as you can tell, this slant razor just really just takes care of it with that seven o'clock black blade. I mean, you can just see the difference uh, right away. Let's see if I can get a good uh, view of um, whiskers in the, the lather on my uh, razor. Let's see if the camera can pick it up. Sometimes you can see a lot. Oh yeah, there we go. Let's see if I can get that, that angle in there. Kind of the underside of the, eh, I guess it's not that good of a view, but there's a ton of whiskers in there. Um, but thank you so much to everyone for all the continued support. Um, getting close to 250 subscribers now, and that just is amazing. And you know, when I started this channel back in like April or so, I never would have imagined that I would have that many subscribers by now and uh, just really been enjoying the the journey of, of this channel and engaging with you guys and, um, you know, getting to try new products and just experience great shaves um, and to continue to talk and share about the hobby. So yeah, I, I think I may have mentioned a few times that I plan on doing a giveaway once I get to 250, so shouldn't be too long now. I think we're at like 241 or something last time I checked. Um, so stay tuned for that. I don't know exactly what I'll be giving away yet, but I'm sure as I peruse my den, I'll come up with some ideas. Um, but yeah, I just want to give back to you guys for the support. Um, really appreciate it. And enjoy talking to each and every one of you that have been commenting. You can hear Hiccup scratching at the door. He always wants to get in here when I'm shaving or to really even just go into the bathroom. Um, but he tries to jump up on the counter and stuff too much. So I'll just let him be for right now. And yeah, this razor is just making light work of everything. Yeah, let's see. Let's see if you can see that. Some whiskers in there. Definitely can notice if you get the angle wrong with this, especially on like the wide end. Um, yeah, you'll cut yourself for sure. You gotta be careful with this more so than a, a regular DE, I think. But the ease at, w at which it just cuts through everything makes it uh, easy to apply light pressure because you really don't need to use much at all to just plow through everything. Excuse me lifting my nose here. I know it's not the, the prettiest sight, but it really is helpful for me in getting that area underneath the nose. And I just went over a pimple right here, so hopefully I don't cut that open. I can tell it's like still tender because you know pimples around the mouth area always really hurt and uh, yeah, I hope I don't cut it open because I don't want to bleed. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, for a first pass, that's that's amazing how smooth it, it really can get you this razor in one pass, but we're going to do three, so I'll go ahead and rinse off, and then we'll relather. All right, let's go for round two. Yeah, look at just the shininess of, excuse me, um, of that lather there. Just, yeah, it goes on really nice. Uh, you can really whip up a nice, like, yogurty protective cushion layer. Man, does it smell good. Um, it's not the strongest uh, scent strength, but that's okay because it's one of those scents where, you know, I put on a splash and I can just kind of, like, quietly enjoy the scent to my, like, I'll, I'll catch whiffs of the scent for a few hours um, afterwards, especially if you put on your clothes, um, it'll last even longer, but I'm sure other people can smell it as well, but it may not be, like, the strongest, um, you know, as if you had put on, like, a EDT or EDP or anything, but for a splash, I think it's a nice scent strength, um, especially for, for what the scent is, you know, it's not overpowering by any means. But it is very nice. Super, super easy to lather soap base. Even if you screw up initially like I did. Because um, I had lathered it a few times before and achieved a very similar, if not even a little better, consistency than this. All right. I'm going to try to overdo it and do too many passes over the same spot as I tend to normally do. Just going to shave and enjoy the smoothness, even if it's not perfect. I'm tired of chasing certain areas too much, um, especially like my, my jawline. Sometimes if I really like stretch the skin, it'll... It'll get it really smooth, but like, it'll actually hurt a little bit as I'm going across it because I just feel like it's not the most comfortable area to shave. And I'm just going to do two passes on neck area, maybe a few touch-ups, but I will do three on my cheeks. Yeah, I kind of have to go up and towards the middle of my neck, to, in, especially in this area here, to get um, the right grain pattern. But I feel like I always have trouble doing the same angle and direction on this side. I think it doesn't feel as natural for my hand to go that way. So I, sometimes I feel like this side of my neck it's a smoother shave with less irritation than the other side. I don't know if any of you guys experience something like that, but it's not always a completely symmetrical shave. That's okay. I do my best to get it to be equal, but it's not always. You can hear that feedback. It's still cutting through what's left. Um, and it won't be a BBS, but it'll be pretty darn close, and I'm happy with that. Let me I always do a couple touch-ups in this area, just in a different direction, because that helps if I go kind of out and then in, in. Yeah, that's much better. Continue going across the grain here. Really, really smooth blades, the seven o'clock black. So I rarely, rarely have issues with them. Very sharp though, so they can nick you, but most of the time, yeah, see, I got myself right there. I don't know if you can see that. Really small one. Most of the time they give me superb shaves. And you know what? My one gripe with this razor is the end tabs stick out quite far. Because I can kind of, I just felt it kind of scrape along my lip there. Um, 
don't think it cut me, but by the nose and my ears, I get that blade tab sometimes if I'm not careful. And that definitely can cut you, and I have done it before. So um, it does stick out quite far compared to some other razors. So it's just, it's not, you know, the worst thing by any means, but it's something to pay attention to and watch out for. Um, and I know not every design is going to allow you to have the blade tabs covered, but yeah, let's see if I can show you there. It, it does stick out fairly far. You can see it. All right, we're going to go ahead and rinse and then do the third pass. All right. <clears throat> Last pass on the cheeks here. And the chin. Really nice brush here. Really, I don't know what kind of knot um, is in it, but it's very soft. And it does kind of hold the lather a little bit. Which some of the synthetic knots can do. Well, actually animal hair brushes do a lot too. But um, it will release it when you lather in this sterling collapsible bowl. When it goes over the nubs. But it's super soft and has pretty decent backbone. Both qualities that, of course, most people appreciate. Man, I just love this scent. It's just, let me tell you, it's much more than a candy cane. It's really just well blended and very, very carefully thought out and just an excellent Christmas wintertime scent that I will continue to enjoy for a long, long time. I feel like half the time I forget to, uh, Wipe the lather off my lips uh, when I'm doing videos. So I'm sorry if that bothers anybody. Oh, you can see the or hear that the cats are rolling a ball around out out there. Just got them some new toys. They really enjoy little balls and there's like this little ice cream cone that's really cute that they love to pick up in their mouth and run around with. Um, we got so many cat toys around the house that half of them just get pushed under the couch and I gotta get them out sometimes. Gotta be careful here going against the grain on my chin area. On my last pass, sometimes I get a little careless and try to go quicker. Especially when I'm doing a video because I don't want the video to be too long. But so far so good. Just really the one nick right there. Knock on wood. Alright guys, that's very smooth. I'm very happy with that. Excellent, excellent razor. We'll continue to rave about it because it just always provides me a good shave. Uh, I've used it quite a few times since I got it and I love it. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and rinse off and then do the post-shave routine. All right, guys, I'm back with the splash. Just threw on some witch hazel um, and some of this power stick aftershave balm. Um, as you can see, I've still got these stupid ingrown hairs right here that I just can't get out. I've even pulled out the tweezers. Felt like I pulled out a couple hairs, but I haven't quite gone away yet. Oh, I forgot I need to shake up this splash. This is the type that you need to shake up. Because it's kind of a milky consistency, um, and it's thicker than some of the other splashes I'm used to. Um, but it's really, really nice. 
feels almost more like a balm. Not quite a balm, but it's thicker. So, man, does that smell nice. Super smooth shave. Really only one small nick, so I definitely call that a win. Smell great, feel great. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, um, and thank you for watching. And I look forward to going through the rest of uh, recent stuff I've acquired um, in videos with you guys. So thank you again for the support. Stay tuned for a giveaway once I hit 250. So thank you guys.